Good morning to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I say good morning to your health, good morning to your career, good morning to your destiny, good morning to your spiritual life, good morning to your children, to your finances, to your businesses, to all that concerns you. I say let your joy manifest. Let that thing that would cause you to weep in your marriage, in your business, in your finances scatter away and let the light of God shine in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say good morning to you in Jesus name. Jesus. Welcome back to the wisdom meditation. Remember wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore get wisdom and in all you're getting, get understanding. Our verse for today is from Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 4, which says, By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Two things that will bring out great results in life and you would do good to apply them. Number one, humility. We have seen over and over and over and over and over the prideful, the haughty, the arrogant. They do not last long their demise is imminent as a matter of fact god wants nothing to do with such people but who does god associate with god associates with the humble and he has instructed us to associate with the humble according to romans chapter 12. god is giving a strong arm to the prideful but he wraps his arms around the humble those who are prideful they are quickly destroyed and then we look at the next one which says the fear of the lord how do we fear the lord to fear him is to love him is to obey him to honor him to respect him when you are able to fear the lord i mean when you are able to obey the lord then with that obedience comes honor with that obedience comes riches with that obedience comes life according to the book of joshua chapter 1 verse 8 god told joshua joshua this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth but you shall meditate in it day and night and as you meditate in the day and night you shall learn i just put it in my own words but he says you shall observe to do what is commanded there in other words learn what you are commanded and not just learn what you are commanded but do what you are commanded when you learn what you are commanded and do what you are commanded it is written then you shall make your way prosperous and then you shall have good success where does it come from? It comes from observing the word of God. To observe is not just to know what it says, but to do what it says. And according to Deuteronomy chapter 28, the same thing. God says, if you will diligently obey and carefully observe all that I have commanded you, all these blessings will come upon you. So these blessings are conditional. We cannot just say, oh yes, let me claim these blessings. No, it is to the obedient. It is to those who keep his word. It is to those who are not puffed up and trying to get there by themselves and putting others down in their pursuit to get it. Realize, listen, even though I have something, I am not better than others. As a matter of fact, let me help others to build them. Let me help others get to that level. Let me bring up others. Let me help up others. This is what the God, our Lord, our Father wants. This is what he wants. He wants us to be humble. He wants us to have fear of the Lord. Because by humility and fear of the Lord is riches and honor and life. Fear God is to obey him. The wages of sin is death. What is sin? Sin is to practice unrighteousness or to not practice righteousness, aka sin is disobedience. So when you obey, you have life. When you disobey, then death is your portion. It is simple. So what am I saying today? Be humble, please, lest you be destroyed. Fear the Lord, please, lest you die. In Jesus' name, Jesus, I thank you so much for joining me today and listening to the end. You are not without reward in the name of Jesus Christ. You who seek wisdom, may all the rewards of wisdom be yours today in Jesus' name. I say good morning to you and congratulations. Why? Because the Lord is taking your places. The Lord is doing things for you. The Lord is bringing you through. The Lord is exalting you. The Lord is honoring you. I say good morning to you and congratulations. I celebrate with you today in Jesus' name.
Jesus. They call me Desipu.